Welcome to the vlog, everybody. It's Tyler on. This is a how-to video on how to tell time. If you wanna hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So now living in this digital revolution now we are all subject to, I will start with the most common clock, the digital clock. You might see a clock like this on your oven or somewhere at work, or you might have a wristwatch with a digital time. Um, these are the most common clocks, digital now. So we're gonna start with this one. Another clock you might come in contact with is the classic 12 number clock, the analog clock, if you will. But we'll start with this guy. So there are three numbers here, as you will see. So the first number is the hour. The dash right here separates the hour from the minutes. The second number is the first variable of the minutes. The third number is the second variable of the minutes. So right now, the hour is four. The first number is zero. The second number is nine. Now, once this hits 10, it will be 410. There are 60 minutes in each hour. Hour, first variable of the minute, second variable of the minute. It's about to be 410 if we wait for a little longer. Is the same thing with my wristwatch. Four ten now. In fifty minutes, because there is sixty of these variables in one hour, so ten plus fifty is sixty, and that will equal five zero zero. The next minute will be four eleven. The hour will remain four until these add up to sixty. Here we have a standard analog clock. A little bit harder to read on these guys have to put a little bit more effort in but it still tells the same amount of time as my wristwatch or the digital clock we saw on the stove the long hand represents minutes the short hand represents hours each one of these numbers is an hour each one of these small increments in between the numbers is a minute there's five small increments in between each number so five times one is oh five five times two is 10. Remember, there's not two variables in the minute denomination until it reaches 10. So right now, small hand pointing to seven, the time is seven. How many variables are in here? One, two, seven, oh, two. Now, whether it's AM or PM on these guys, you'll know based on if it's dark or light outside. Some people like telling times on these clocks better just because you know, it's more, it might be more nostalgic, easier on the eyes, what have you. Personally, I like these clocks a lot better. So now, seven, one, two, three. It is 7.03 right now. If this big hand were to come to the three, it would be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seven, fifteen. You can multiply in increments of five. So five times three, seven, fifteen. Five times four, seven, twenty. Five times five, seven, twenty-five, and so forth. Five times six, thirty. The hand will be straight up and down when the minutes are thirty, or straight up and down facing up when the minute is zero, zero. So if this were to go back directly at the top, it is directly seven o'clock, seven zero zero. This is another example of a standard analog clock or old school clock. It has no numbers on it. So those who have been reading time for a little while will only know how to tell time. This is not a clock you want to start learning time on because you can barely tell. Right now it is four the three is directly horizontal 12 and 6 are directly vertical so it is 4 10 right now maybe 4 11 4 12. here is another example of an analog clock except on the wrist as you can see 10s 20s 30s 40s 50s and in between those are five each little dash still represents a minute so right now on this clock what time is it four 15. The little hand measures the hour. Big hand measures the minutes. 
don't worry about this. Each analog clock is a little different. This is just a stopwatch hand right here. I just have it set to zero right now. So don't worry about those. Some clocks have stopwatches with these mini circles in here that tell individual time. Now this one is cool because this circle right here measures the individual second. So one, two, three, 30 seconds. It's measuring it out right there. So that's kind of cool. So seconds on this clock right here, minutes with the big, just like the older one, and hours with the short. Right now it is 416. Some people definitely prefer these watches to wear just, you know, because they have a certain amount of class to them. You can get some pretty expensive wrist watches. This one, this was my dad's. I'm assuming it was about two to three hundred dollars in its day. And you know, you can get watches all the way up to a million dollars that you can put on your wrist, which is crazy. So everybody, this was a little video on how to tell time in English, of course. If you have any critiques, any comments or anything, leave them down below. If you want to like, subscribe, much appreciated. Tell me what videos you want to see more of. Tell me something you need to know how to do, and I'm going to teach you. It's Tyler Owen. Y'all have a good one. Today is the 21st of January, 2021.